am going to walk you through what you're going to be doing today. So you do need to watch the seven minute video of chromosomes and karyotypes. It'll explain a few things to you so that you're not maybe lost through the rest of this. So when you're done with that, you're going to go to this. I'm going to go to presentation mode. And I'm going to read the instructions. On the next slide, match homologous chromosomes and arrange by size and banding pattern to diagnose a human disorder. Involving abnormal numbers of chromosomes, you only need to complete one of the karyotypes your teacher will assign. The sex chromosomes have been colored pink and the blue to help you find them. There are three possible disorders found in each of the karyotypes. Now, um, for you guys at home, I'll let you pick which one you want to do. Just let me know. Make sure you let me know which one you've done. Um, the others in here... They are going to, I'm going to assign them one, and then they are going to do this and tell me what they have. They're just going to write it down. I'm going to give them a little sheet of paper. I'm going to tell them which one, what set they have, and then they're going to write down what happened on it. All right, so, um, and I'll give you all, you guys will see that little piece of paper. I will have attached it to this. Okay, so what we're going to do, first off, this one is, Uh, let me get out of here. Let me exit the full screen. Maybe here. All right. So, so for like set A here, you can drag and drop these. Now look, you are. It goes from largest to smallest. So I need to, and you may need to separate these a little bit so you can see them a little bit better, or so you can compare sizes. So okay, well, these are my big ones. I they're going to be up here somewhere. I think. And this may take some time. This one's really big. So I'm going to think maybe that's maybe number one. They're kind of all in here. So you may need to separate them first thing and move them around. All right, so for instance, like, oh, I don't know. Do we think that one? There's a little bit of difference there on that banding, though. So you, that is what you're trying to do right now, is you're trying to find, well, that's not it. So this is a little bit more difficult than it looks. Let me get rid, me get rid of that one, put it down here. Okay, now here we go. These two like look like they pair up. So I would, uh, yeah. I think they're a little bit bigger than that one. So yeah, I would say maybe that's chromosome one and I would pair them up. So you are just literally trying to find pairs and you're finding them based off of the black and white banding and their sizes, all right? So anyways, um, like I said, I'll let you guys pick whichever one you want and then you're gonna do this analysis. I'm gonna just have a, I'll just attach a Google sheet for you to write it in so you don't have to write it in here. Um, so yeah, that's it. If you need to have any questions, let me know. This is what we're doing day one, and then we'll do the rest of the week. We'll do some some different things with karyotypes. So if there's anything you need from me, let me know. Um, just make sure that you don't do presentation mode. If you do presentation mode, you won't be able to move those around. Okay. So move these all back, and I'll make sure that each one of you has your own set for this because if not then when somebody moves it it'll move on yours too all right so that is it if you guys have any questions let me know have a great rest of your day bye